Well, obviously, it was speech, speech and English, and those are two subjects that I taught. I had a really wonderful speech teacher. She was young, and not that the mature teachers were bad, <clears throat> but she was young, and she really kind of met us where we were. She made us really get into the speeches that we gave, and she made us research them and understand what was behind them. And she would put up very interesting bulletin boards, and we would question her about them because she would take a stand on issues with her bulletin boards. So we found ourselves arguing with her all the time before class about how she saw the issues and how we saw them. And that sort of led into debate, and to debate and its ramifications sort of led into my career. So that's, that's kind of one of my favorite subjects. I also loved reading, and I remember my goal one summer, I know this sounds nerdy, but it was to read all the fairy tales. And so I would ride my bike up to the public library and check out three or four books by different kinds of authors so that I had, you know, like Grimm's and Aesop, et cetera. And I read all the fairy tales that the library had for that summer, and that was my goal. So I accomplished it. I was a reader. I, I like to talk, too, and just ask anybody. <laughs>
and I hope that they remember me as, remember me as a true friend and, that, and that, that I had lots of friends, lots of good friends, and that's, that's worthwhile. My former students, I hope that they remember something that I imparted to them that they think is worthwhile, something they'll remember, even if they make fun of it, like, oh yeah, we gotta give our sources full sources when you give a speech, and that's okay if they remember it that way, but it's good for them. <laughs> and they learn to do honest research. And I guess another important person to me, probably the most important, is my daughter. And I hope that she remembers me as a loving mother and that I gave her what we would call roots, meaning a good foundation, you know, in not only in life, but in her beliefs. And I hope that I gave her wings to fly. I think I did. So I hope she remembers me as that.